Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Lazarus, a first-person horror experience where I'm going to be investigating the distress signal from a ship that disappeared four years ago. If you want to disappear for four years, the links and the details are of course down below in the description as usual, alright? I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments either way though. Thank you in advance. This is Lazarus. Four years ago, a ship called the MTS Endurance disappeared on its voyage across the Atlantic Ocean. It's recently re-emerged. You're a member of a rescue team sent to investigate a distress signal coming from the once lost cargo vessel. All attempts to communicate with the ship have failed. Until now, I hope. <laughs> oh, well this is different. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Right, it's probably been locked down, has it? So, a year or so ago I played the demo to this. It didn't start like this, this is new. Can't see much, to be honest. But yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anyone on the deck, does it? Nowhere to put the helicopter down? Hmm. I suppose that's why this rope's here, right? Yes, we do. Alright. So that's who I am. John? Lucky John. <laughs> okay, so. Down we go. Alright, find a way below deck. See ya. No, uh, I'm actually never going to see you again, am I? Okay, so here we are, Lazarus. Um, obviously we can't leave, so yeah, let's see if we can get below deck. If these were moved out of the way, maybe I could go down through there, but hmm. Right, so let's see, we can sprint, we can crouch. Uh, I don't think we can jump. We can certainly get rained on. Right, well, I suppose the bridge is back there. Okay, some of these containers are open, actually. Oh, hang on. What are they transporting? Ladder keys! Okay. All right. I picked up a ladder key. Good stuff. Right. Oh, here we are. So, what was that? Tab for the inventory and the objectives? Okay, so find a way below deck. There's the ladder key on the right. What's this? The crane should be able to move this. All right. Ah. Oh, okay. I think I see a ladder, actually. <laughs> Is that the ladder that I've got a key to? Hold on. Alright. So it seems like the helicopter's just circling. He might be circling for quite a while. Right, yeah, up we go. Quite a long way up, isn't it? I don't know what I'd be feeling right now, like a fear of heights or seasickness, or maybe a mixture of both. <laughs> Are we heading up again? Looks like we're heading up again. Yeah, not a pleasant situation to be in, right? Okay. This one? Oh. Oh, this must be the crane camera. Wow, that was violent. Okay. Well, job done, I suppose. Uh, do we need to go up again? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's go down, let's go through that opening, and let's see if we can somehow get below deck. It's a really, really stormy sea. Let's make it a good first impression. Well, the demo certainly did, yeah. I really enjoyed the demo, so I'm very much looking forward to this. And back on the deck. Good stuff. Okay, so, round here. Alright. I feel like I should just stay here for a while, you know, dry off a bit. Alright, so through here. Well, let's hope this is the way. <laughs> Passed by a door, did I? Hmm. Okay. Doesn't look like we're going that way. Ah, hold on. Ah, this might work. Hey, here we go. Alright. Oh. Oh dear. 
Oh, I'm locked in. <laughs> Wonderful. This might be the section from the demo as well. I'm not sure, but yeah, it does look a little bit familiar. I love the ship swaying back and forth as well. That's great. I don't have a flashlight. That's not great. No, I didn't come prepared. Which is silly, really. We're not getting through there? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. So... Let's see how much of the demo I can remember. Hmm. Okay. There's something being transmitted on the radio. I don't know if that's coming from the helicopter, from the bridge, somewhere else. You also got all sorts of noises, and I don't think I'm making them all. Oh! Simon says, find anything? Alright. Again, I think this is new. Um, not yet, but it looks like we were right about the lockdown. Make your way up to the superstructure. You should be able to release the lockdown from the bridge, and maybe someone up there can tell us what's going on. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Right, so... Make your way to the superstructure. Will do. Will do. Alright. Ah. Yeah, this does seem familiar. Right, okay, so there's a combination on this. I'm fairly sure it's a year. But I'm not sure what year. I'll come back once I know. Oh, hold on. Search efforts are underway to locate a research ship that has gone missing in the Atlantic. The ship, which was designed to dredge up important archaeological relics from the seabed, has gone missing along with its entire crew, including renowned archaeologist Dr. Alfred Hayes. Dr. Hayes, the lead researcher for the expedition, had reported finding a most unusual artifact before the ship's disappearance. No further details of the artifact were transmitted, leaving researchers to speculate on what this new discovery could have been. This article seems to be the most recent in a stack of newspaper clippings of similar disappearances going back decades. Huh. Alright, okay, so... The notes aren't there. Okay. Here they are. Okay, well, yeah, cool. That could be... that could be pretty useful. Hmm. Strange. Did this... did this ship plan on disappearing, do you think? Hmm. Right, okay, what we got round here? A blocked elevator door. Can we move this out of the way? No. No, I'm not paid enough for that. Can't get that open. Alright. Yeah, I do like the look of the game. We can go down even further. Stairwell? Alright. Oh, it's locked, is it? Okay, I guess I need to go and find the key. If that stairwell is not going to work, let's try this one. Yeah, I like the sounds and the, the creaks I'm hearing on the ship. Very immersive. I like it a great deal. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, right. Yes. Hi. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. It's like a mannequin or a statue, but not quite either of them. Those and those are barnacles on the on the shoulder there. Maybe that used to be a member of the crew. I'm not sure. Looks like we might be able to go this way though, into the workshop. Oh, there you go. A little bit of force does it. Oh. We've got two bodies at least. And a lot of blood. Holy moly. Okay. A barricaded door? It can't be broken by hand. Okay, so we're going to need to find a tool. Are we crawling through there? Oh, hold on. Oh, another body. And something else. Are we going in there? <laughs> Are we going in there to fetch that light? I want the light. I don't want to be dragged away, though. Where's that coming from? Is that another radio down there? There's something down here. Henry and the Doctor left to destroy the communications equipment two days ago. They still aren't back. At this point, we can only assume they're dead. Well, right. Hmm. Got anything else around here? Okay. 
All right, there's a scrap of... Ah, oh, there's a scrap of paper. Oh, that's the year, I think. 1947. 1947. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, this is where we save. This is where we save. Fantastic. All right. Doesn't seem like I can go through, although I can see through there. Hmm. Oh. Right, we can hide, but what are we hiding from? Well, nothing right now, right? <laughs> There's nothing to fear. Okay, so 1947. Let's go back there, shall we? Oh, hello. <laughs> I remember that happening in the demo as well. It freaked me out then, too. <laughs> right. Yeah, back this way. 1947. What am I going to find in the briefcase? Is it going to be a tool for me to get through those boards? Where's that coming from? Oh! Are you just trying to throw me off so I forget 1947? Weird. Hopefully that's not important. I, I guess we'll see, won't we? 1947. Come on, let's try it. Okay, well, I got the first two digits right. There you go. It's an anchor. An anchor relic. Uh-huh. Alright. And what do I do with the anchor relic? Do I use this to pry the boards off? It's not going to work as the key, is it? No, okay. There's got to be something down here in the workshop, right? Hello. They move. They're not mannequins. They're not statues. They're something else. Uh-huh. You're just sitting down there like nothing ever happened? All right, all right. Yeah, can we use the anchor relic here? No. Okay, we're not going to be using, we're not going to be using it to break the boards. Any advice? You haven't got anything in there with you, have you? No. Oh. All right. Oh, it's for the scales. Right. So if that's all balanced. But weird. <laughs> Very weird. Okay, here we are though. Oh boy. Oh, it's Amnesia the Dark Descent, is it? There's something invisible down there in the water. Right. More blood. Oh. More people moving around. Don't think it's a member of the crew though. Oh, the noises. Yeah, this game's making a good first impression. Alright. Something down here? Okay. Some of the crew were desperately trying to get to the main deck today, despite the captain's orders to not go outside. They were adamant that they had to get above deck and some even had to be physically restrained. The weather lock system has been overridden to stop anyone from trying this again. Like it or not, we're all stuck here now. Hmm. But yeah, was that the idea? was the idea to get stuck, to disappear, to, I don't know, venture somewhere you probably shouldn't be venturing. No stack of newspapers have got me wondering. Alright. Seems like the things you can interact with do stand out. We have another one of these guys. Oh. Right. You're not going to uppercut me with that, are you? Oh, there's something in the hand. What is that? It's a key. Right. That's the stairwell key. Okay, thank you, thank you. Right. I'm always a little bit nervous when it teaches me about running. <laughs> Especially when I don't really know the reason why. Should I be running? Maybe I should be. Ooh. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> Probably run myself into some danger, honestly, but right, run back to the stairwell. Oh, lads, he Simon, it's Simon. 
It looks like we're leaking fuel. We need to head back now, but we'll return as soon as possible. We'll be out of communication range until then. And I don't communicate back. I don't even say bye. Alright. Yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing Simon ever again, honestly. Okay. Oh, shit. The fuck? Right. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I, maybe I actually don't need to go back that way. Ah. Hello? Are you one of the Barnacle Boys? Are you a crew member? It's so dark. Oh, shit. I think I've got to go through you. Ooh. Okay. Was that real? I don't know if that was real. Anyway, we're through it. We're through it. We're going back up and... Well, we should be heading towards the stairwell, right? There you go. Yeah? Okay, alright. Right. Well, I suppose we're heading down, aren't we? Because up doesn't seem to be an option right now. Okay. What do we got down here, then? Blood. Wonderful. Ah, you gotta love this place. <laughs> oh, this was in the demo as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's more of the Barnacle Boys. Okay. Oh, hello. What the hell was that? At our last stop, we picked up an extra passenger. While it's not unheard of, it's definitely out of the ordinary. I've tried asking the captain about the new arrival, but he dodges the question every time. So far, the mystery passenger has mostly kept to himself, but I'll be keeping an eye on him. As he probably should. Somewhere else to hide, somewhere else to hide, okay. Is that somewhere else to save as well? Why not, right? Why not? Okay. Do we have to go this way? It's too dark, you're right, it is too dark. Um, maybe we're going to find a flashlight around here, because that's obviously an option. The game's not stopping me this time, saying it's too dark, because, well, I guess, because there's a light at the end. The fuck was that? Oh, the whistling! The whistling, that's right, I remember the whistling now. I think I can whistle somehow, too. The hell is this? Right, this is not an ordinary ship, is it? Right, so we can't get through either door? Are you serious? Can I pick this up? I- Oh! Fuck's sake. Right. We're out into the darkness. Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Hello? Is that a crowbar? Am I going to be Gordon Freeman? Right, okay. I bet the crowbar could remove those boards. Oh, sorry, buddy. Wow. Okay. Picked up the crowbar. Good stuff. Right. Yeah, I think there's more to this place than meets the eye. I just can't see it quite yet. Wait, is that... Hello, who are you? I can see you poking your head around. Ah! Uh, hmm. Right. Okay. I think we're heading back up. I think we're... I think we're heading back to the workshop area, if we can. I know the door was slammed, and I think it was maybe locked, but hopefully it's unlocked now. Okay. So we're going to be going back and forth in different areas of the ship. That's quite nice. This might be quite open, I'm not sure. I kind of hope so. Alright. Let's see. Alright, here we are, here we are. Yeah, so the crowbar removes the boards and I can get through the door? Good stuff. Oh boy. Right, what we got? The statue started to appear on the third day. It was just one or two at first, but more would show up every day, and by the end of the week, there were dozens of them. A few pages have been torn out. Some of the statues have started moving. They've killed three people already. 
When evacuating the quarantined areas, I whistled to get the crew's attention, and one of the statues whistled back. Ooh, ooh. We've only had one more fatality in the last week. Whistling has proven an effective way of avoiding danger, though they won't respond if you're too close. Still, I think it would be best for the rest of us to find a safe place to hole up for now. A few more pages have been torn out. There's not many of us left now. The engines have stopped. But we can't get to the bridge. There's something else on the ship and it stalks the corridors looking for survivors. The safest place for us right now is in this room. I just hope we're rescued soon. Right. Well, the blood on the floor doesn't bode too well for them, does it? Right. Oh, one responded! Was it you? I don't know if it was one of these two. It may have been another one. Right, okay. Ah. Uh, I can grab the flashlight. There you go. Right. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm quite glad that we didn't crawl in to get that. Yeah. That didn't seem like a wise move. But right, now we can explore those darker areas. Right? Okay. We can explore the darker areas, and we can whistle. Alright. So, yeah, back to the stairwell, back down, and let's see what we can find in the darkness. Let's see. I didn't get a response. Maybe because there's no danger, or because I'm too close to them. Not sure. Right, okay, so, yeah, the lounge. I'm just gonna bypass all of you guys, okay? What have we got here? Didn't notice this in the dark. There's a vent. But it can't be opened by hand. Okay, alright. Alright, well, here's the lounge, and there you go. There's a door over there that I couldn't see before. Alright. So far, so good. I'm not hearing any responses to my whistling. That's unfortunately locked from the other side. We'll go around. Oh, shit. One of them back there. One of them back there is a threat. You should be okay, though. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I like the whistling. Yeah. That's a fun addition. Through here? No, can't even try that. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so can we go through here? No? Mm-hmm. All right. What are we going here? This seems vaguely familiar. We did all this in the demo, didn't we? Oh, hold on. Right. Ah, okay. There's a, a safe that's locked. It hasn't got any dials or anything on it. Nowhere to put in a code. A few more places to hide. Okay. Oh, what was that? A hidden oval found. Okay, apparently there's collectibles to find. Cool. Uh, I'm not making any promises, but I'll have a good look around and see if I can find the rest. Okay, it doesn't actually seem like there's anything here. There's just that locked box. Not really sure how to open it. Two more doors over here. Which I can't even try. No, okay. This is not the answer, apparently. Right. Hmm. Definitely heard some whistling from one of you guys. One of the ones down here, I think. Maybe one of these two? Yeah, I think so. Do we do something with this? No? Hold on. I was just wondering if maybe one of these doors was going to be opened. Okay. Ah, there's a doorway here as well. Right, there you go. Something else I missed in the darkness. Oh. What was it movie night? Right. Let's see. Something behind the screen? Just me. Hmm. Are you going to be cool? Alright. Oh, there's some slides missing. Okay. So we're looking for projector slides. Hmm. Hopefully, somewhere around here. That'll be good. Oh! 
Okay. There's definitely someone in there. Maybe a living, breathing crew member? Ah. Well, they're, they're holding the door shut, I think. Alright, what we got in here? He's killed most of us, but not just killed. Some of us he marked. A pair of old coins placed over the eyes. After a time, the body starts to move again. I haven't seen what happens next, but I've heard it. Bones twisting, flesh tearing, and then... Silence. The body is gone after that. Most of it, anyway. Wow, okay. Oh dear. Well, that's not good. Find somewhere to hide. Find somewhere to hide. There we go. Perfect. How was that? Ooh. It'll be you. Oh my, okay. Quite a big fellow, isn't he? So who are we dealing with here? Davy Jones? Karen? Maybe a mixture of both? Whoever he is, you didn't check the locker. Okay, is it safe to leave? Let's hope so, because that's what I'm doing. <sighs> okay. Right. Uh, did he drop anything? <laughs> did he have any projector slides on him? Oh! He was in there? Wow, okay. Hmm. You know what? With him... With him wandering around, maybe I shouldn't be whistling and giving away my position. Oh? They all stopped at the same time? The clocks? Interesting. Another one of these briefcases down here. Ah, okay, so I guess it's the time. That's going to be the combination, right? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I thought he might be approaching again, to be honest. Okay, um... So the time, yeah. Let's see. That photo, I think, maybe showed us... Back here? Is there a clock around here somewhere? All right. What is that? 11... 1135, 1135. Let's try that. 1135. Maybe I'm going to find the slides in there. All right, so 1135. That's it. Brilliant. What is that? It's, it's too dark. Oh, it's a screwdriver. Oh, I bet that's going to help me with the the vent. The vent. Yes. Now, he seemed like a pretty big guy. Can he crawl through the vent? Speak of him, and he shall appear, apparently. Is he there, though? Really? No, he's not. Okay. Yeah, I guess it may have been him in that vent, pulling that body away, right? Okay. And in the vent we go. Left or right? Ah, uh, it's going to be right, isn't it? Oh boy. What the hell is that? Just a, That's like half a torso. Man, oh man, oh man. Right, so what are we going to find in here? Something down here. All right. Oh, the slides? The slides. It looks like there's three of them. Okay. Something down here as well. A moon sigil. Okay. You don't mind if I just peer over you, do you? The crew and I have been able to find out a little more about our mysterious passenger. His name is Erin Hayes, a doctor of archaeology. Hayes. We saw Hayes in that newspaper article earlier, didn't we? Turns out he has some cargo stowed in the hold, but I haven't been able to find out what it is yet. The whole situation is suspicious. Very. Okay, there's a door over here. Can we try it? Oh. All right. Oh. Oh, that was the door that I couldn't open. Ah, yes, okay. Right. I don't think I can trust these three. Or, or one of them, anyway. So, was it this door here? Yeah, okay, alright. Again, let's hope you're cool. Right, can go the slides. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. 
Yeah, there's that box that I can't open. And another clock, actually. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, there's a secret button? Right. Yes. I, oh. <laughs> All right, I guess I wasn't the only one looking. Yeah, I like this so far. I think this is still the demo section. This is all very familiar. Um, yeah, so this way... This way, all the way round. I think, wasn't it? Over here. Yeah, into the storage area. That's it, that's it. So... Oh, this is in the way. No wonder I couldn't see it. If we just move this out of the way, hopefully I can see the button on the wall. And there it is! <laughs> ah, oh, so we found the moon. That will be the sun. Okay. Yep. Okay, we got the moon, we got the sun. And I think they're both going to go on that very strange looking door. Right? I think they've got to at this point. Okay. Hey, we might as well save. There you go. I quite like the save. I quite like the save system as well. It's no nonsense. It's really quick. All right. Our friend doesn't appear to be around at the moment, which is good. So yeah, this restricted area. Ah, oh, speak of him and he shall appear. Right. Oh, hurry up. Please hurry up. I don't want to be hooked. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. Wait. Fuck it. Ah. Oh, so we are going through that door. And so is he. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Right. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> uh, he seems kind of slow and lumbering, but I don't know. He's, he's still a bit of a threat, right? He's very sort of Mr. X-like. Come on. Oh, he's right there. Oh, shit. He's strong, too. Very strong. Oh, boy. Hi. Who are you? Is that Haze? That oh. oh. Right. Hmm. Whoever it is, they just threw me down a couple of decks by the looks of it. I'm alive. Wow. Oh. But they're not, are they? It, it, is that the only reason I survived? Because I fell on that giant pile of bodies? Holy moly. Right, okay. I think we might be out of the demo section. I think from here on in, it's going to be a completely blind playthrough. Okay. <laughs> now watch me mess the rest of this up. Do I need that? Apparently not. Right, this way? Okay, we're going to squeeze on through. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I guess we're looking for another stairwell, or a, an elevator, or something like that. We need to get back up to those upper decks. Mm-hmm, alright. Well, here's an elevator. Oh. Oh. <laughs> The elevator fuse is missing. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's funny and it's also sad at the same time. Oh? Somewhere else to save? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, uh, can we get the shutter open? Doesn't seem like it. Lots of supplies in that box, but no fuses. Right. Up the stairs, maybe? If I keep finding stairs, maybe I don't even need to find the elevator. Maybe I don't even need to find the elevator fuse. Alright. Oh, cargo hold one. I don't know if I like the font being used on uh, all the areas of the ship. That's one little niggle for me. Okay, got something here? We came upon a fog bank today. There was no chance of sailing around it, so we've had to sail straight through. Something about it makes me uneasy. With everything else going on on board the ship, it feels like a bad omen. It was kind of stormy when we arrived. Was it foggy as well? All right.
guys? This Holy shit. Anyone making an appearance? No? Okay, good. Right, let's go. Oh, it's locked. Fuck. Right, am I using that then? I might be. Oh boy. Up you go. Alright. Back in the vent. Huh. That was weird. Hmm. Am I gonna fall through this? No, okay. Looks like there is going to be a corner to this. Yeah, round to the right here. Another opening. Oh, what the fuck was that? Did you see that? I think that might be a big guy. Oh, God. The hell was that? Yeah, I don't know if it's the big guy or something else, but I think it's that thing that dragged the body off. What is this? Yeah, there's definitely some strangeness to this ship. What the? Oh boy. Right, okay. That green one, it's, that's the symbol, I think. So we're looking for three other symbols around here, I guess? Okay. I really don't like those noises. Oh, okay, hold on. I've been keeping an eye on Dr. Hayes throughout the voyage, and he's behaving very strangely. He tends to avoid the crew and refuses to talk to anyone. Instead, he usually occupies his time tinkering with strange contraptions. He's installed some unusual door locking mechanisms around the ship. My god, that sounded really close. You can't even go from the workshop to the boiler room now, and the captain won't do anything about it. That was really, really close, or it sounded really, really close. Hold on, right, we've got a blue symbol this time. Right, so I know what the blue rune looks like. That one. So it's just uh, the purple and the red. I'm definitely not going back up there. Right, so let's see. All oh, right. Okay, there's okay, there's a purple fork. A purple fork. Brilliant. All right. We got anything over here as well? All right. Purple fl Aha, okay, I found them all. I found them all. I could have used trial and error, I suppose, but right. So, purple fork. There you go, right. We've made it out of this room, at least. Oh, just to the other side. Whoa. Hello? Is there someone in one of these? Huh, okay. Right. Security! Ah, <laughs> oh, of course it's locked. What about this one? Locked? Fuck. Okay. Go on, John. Get down there and see what that banging is all about. <laughs> I don't think it's this one. Might be this one here. I'm going to two. Right. Okay, elevator. Oh, okay, hold on. Get this a spin. That shutter right next to the elevator, is is that where it is? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we've opened up a shortcut. Okay, right. Oh, okay. The doors won't open while the other cargo hold is flooded. Right. I didn't realise it was flooded, but okay. I'm just trying to look for every excuse not to have a look at this. <laughs> Hello? No, I'm not. What do you want? Alright. Shipping manifest? Bring the shipping manifest back to the cargo hold. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Let's keep exploring. We're going to need to find a key, I think. Around here? Towards engineering? Oh shit, okay. I'm hearing whistling and I'm hearing groaning. I, I don't like any of it. All right.
right? We oh no, I'm not going in there. <laughs> I am definitely not going in there. We've been sailing through this fog for an entire day now, and it doesn't show any signs of dissipating. It's pretty disorientating. The fog's so thick, you can't tell if it's day or night. It sounds like the crew on the main deck are being affected by it pretty badly. The captain's ordered that time on the main deck should be limited to necessary work only. I hope we're out of this soon. Me too. What happened to the guy that was here? There was a guy right here, right? Is he hiding from me? <laughs> oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Okay. Okay, so we can we can ignore that, I think, because uh, I don't want to get grabbed. Oh. Uh, is that going to hurt me? Oh, no. We're missing something else, aren't we? The handle is missing. Okay. And we can't go through there. Okay. Wonderful. I think there is only one way to go, and that way is through the monster in the vent. Let's go. Mm hmm All right. Hopefully we're going left. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. You stay at that end and I'll... I'll go up to this end, okay? Right. What we got around here, then? Oh, there it is. The valve handle. Okay. Well, that's going to get rid of the steam so I can go a little bit further. I suppose you're the reason I can't get the door open. <laughs> okay. Well, back the way we came, then. Kind of wish I wasn't going right back into this vent, but here we are. Okay. Oh. <laughs> They're keeping an eye on me. Some of them are like statues. Many of them aren't, though. Alright. No response this time. Okay, let's get this steam off, shall we? Okay. I don't suppose we'll be going through there. Ooh, and do I want to go through here? I don't think so. Okay, this way. Alright. Wait, there's... Oh, there's something missing down here, actually. There's a part missing from the water pump. Ah! Right, okay, well, let's look for the water pump part, I suppose. What's this? Oh, the security room key! Okay, well, maybe... Whoa, hello. Hmm. Oh, shit! Right. I don't think I could have really avoided that. But yeah, that just proves it. Some of them are threats. And some of them just like to disappear, apparently. Things are looking bad. We've been sailing through the fog for two days now, and no end in sight. Early this morning, the navigation equipment stopped working, and now the engines have cut out. We're working as hard as we can to repair them, but we're dead in the water right now. We've sent out a distress signal. I don't think I'll be getting any sleep tonight. Me neither. Me neither. Right. Okay, so there's also... A part of the pump that we're missing. Okay. Hey! <laughs> right, yeah. Let's just go back to the security room, see if we can find this manifest, and then... I don't know. Do we open the doors? Do we slide it through? You weren't there before, were you? Right. Oh! Yep, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's one I think I should probably avoid. Let's just go back up the stairs here, shall we? Back to the security room. Yeah, they're moving when I'm not looking. Quite creepy, really. Okay, here we are then. Oh my god! What the hell are we dealing with? I mean, there's the guy that threw me down the two or three decks, but... There's definitely some other things too. There's something weird in Cargo Hold too, clearly. As I was inspecting the machinery, I heard a strange rhythmic humming sound coming from one of the containers. I tried to investigate, but the cargo inspector stopped me and said he'd look into it. I haven't heard the sound since. The cargo inspector doesn't say anything when questioned about it, and pretends not to have any memory of the encounter. Right. I don't think I should get any closer, to be honest. Um... 
Is this it? Is this the- It's the manifest. That's what he wants. Okay. I don't really know why, but, uh, yeah, we- Hang on. The doors are open. Oh, shit. Uh, what the hell is going on here? And there shouldn't be three of you here. What the- <laughs> Just avoid them like the plague if you can. Oh dear. Hmm. If he was a living, breathing member of the crew... Is this his blood? Is that recent? Is oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Right. That's the fuse for the elevator. It feels like I've been down here forever. Taking the fuse from the freight elevator has stopped anything from getting down here, but rations are running low. I'll need to get out of here soon. The passage between cargo holds 1 and 2 is flooded. I'll need to drain it before I can reach the elevator up to the superstructure, but the pump is broken. There should be replacement parts on one of the service decks, but what are my chances of making it alone? Maybe I'll just wait here a bit longer. Right, okay. Ooh. Okay, oh, right, yeah. Let's ignore them and let's get back to the elevator, shall we? Yeah. I think you're the only one who's actually meant to be here. Right, put the fuse in. There you go. Uh-huh. All right. Might as well save as well. There you go. We've made some progress. I don't know how long this game is meant to be, by the way. I'm going to see if I can do it in one video. Yeah, unless we're recording for like five or six hours. I should be able to do that. Alright. So, how high is this going to take me up exactly? Alright, we've got a floor here. It might be the only floor, actually. Right, okay, we need to find that replacement part for the water pump. And I guess we're going to find it here. This must be one of the service decks. Alright. Somewhere else to save. Let's see. Okay, we're not going that way. Mm-hmm. Okay, the cargo hold is that way. That way looks like cancer. Sounds like it, too. Let's go this way instead, yeah, where there's no statues. No chance of me getting grabbed. Okay. And again. All right. Oh, there's something down here. Probably don't need the flashlight, do I? We've been trying to get the engines back up and running for days now, with no success. Some of the crew are starting to become despondent. Unfortunately, many of them have also taken up Dr. Hayes' infuriating hobby of building random contraptions. Oh. You mean like locks to the... To the doors? I didn't whistle. He's actually calling for me this time. Hmm. In here? Alright. Whoop. Hmm. Hey. Were you whistling? Right, I'm gonna need to get to that. Oh, and what's this? Oh, there's a key. Okay. Why the cutscene for the key? Oh, dear. Oh, okay. He didn't move. I really expected him to move. Oh, God. A piece is missing. Okay. Alright, well, we've got a puzzle ahead of us when we find that missing piece. Right. I'll be back later. Wait right there, okay? Right. So, the safety storage room key. That's probably down that cancerous looking corridor where I'm definitely going to get grabbed. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm going to go this way, away from the whistling. Shit. Around to the- oh, hello. Okay. Maybe I should follow him? Maybe not, I don't really know. Is it you? It might be you I can hear. 
You just moved. It's you. I know it's you. Hold on. Storage. Close the door. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what we got down here? Oh, that's that wiring tile. Okay, cool. Something else to read? We received the radio signal from the rescue team today. We tried to respond and let them know our situation, but were unable to transmit. There was no sign of the helicopter through the fog. After a while, we heard the rescue team say they couldn't see any sign of the ship and would begin searching a different area. Strangely, they said they had a clear view all the way to the horizon. The radio's been quiet ever since. I feel sick. Our only hope now is to get the engines working. Right. When they entered the fog, something happened to them, didn't it? They were transported to another dimension or, or something. It's probably going to be something like that anyway. Anything in here? No. I'm just looking for any additions at all, really. I got the wiring tile. Maybe that's all I really need. Yep. Unless I want some shiny new shoes or some more high vis, I think I'm good. Right. Stay right where you are, okay? Can't go that way. Uh huh. All right. Now, uh, what did I say? <laughs> now we just need to make our way back to use that wiring tile. Okay. There were a few doors I passed on the way, of course. I, I do want to have a look. Hmm. Or do I? I don't know. So many of these guys want to just high-five. Here? Yeah. Okay, I can actually see through. But the door needs power. Hence the wiring tile, right? It's the cargo hold that way. Yeah, that sounded really close. Oh, shit. I don't think I went this way, did I? No. And for good reason, there's nothing here. Okay. Just a lot of dead ends, really. More complicated than it needs to be. Okay. Alright, so we're back to the, the sort of beginning here. This way to go and use that wiring tile. Alright. Is our friend still here? Yes, he is. He's one of the good ones, it seems. There you go. Okay, so we just need to connect the top to the bottom by the looks of it. So, let's see. Uh, let's start at the bottom. Sort of reverse engineer this a little bit. Uh, okay, that might work. There you go! And still, he does not move. Okay, so... Back through here. It doesn't affect this door, but it is going to affect the cargo hold door, isn't it? So we just need to head back there now. Oh! What the f- Oh, come on! This is not happening. This is not fucking happening. Not now. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Hi. This isn't real! This- this- this can't be real! There's no way out. That- No. No, it, it wasn't real. Maybe it was a memory of something that happened, or... The spirits of this place are trying to tell me something, but... Yeah. It wasn't real. It wasn't real to me, anyway. Okay... I don't believe I actually tried this door, did I? There you go, there you go. Now I think I've actually had a look at everything around here. Okay. I think what this place needs is a little bit more signage. Yeah. Okay. The cargo hold is this way. The door should now have power. Yes, cool, alright. Can we close the door? We can close the door. Good. <laughs> I'm still looking for that replacement part, right? The hell is that? Yeah, maybe it's best I don't know. Alright. Are we jumping across there, or...? Hmm. Let's just keep on going, shall we? Okay. 
across here. Oh, mmm. Oh, no! I... I like that flashlight. That was actually pretty good. And I didn't need to worry about the batteries or anything. Oh, fucking hell. Right. Yeah, okay. We are, uh... Going into the darkness, I suppose. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, and we've got some lights here. Maybe I can just grab that and take that with me. Ah. The part is bolted on, as I suppose it should be. But I suppose that's what we're missing, isn't it? We just need to put this somewhere else. Okay, so we need to unbolt it, I suppose. I was woken up early this morning by a loud scraping sound against the side of the ship. I thought we might have hit something in the fog, but when I ran to the main deck, there was nothing. Other sounds heard intermittently throughout the day. Banging on the hull, the sound of scraping metal, a low rumble from beneath the ship. Each sound was investigated, but we found nothing. Hmm. I think I've been hearing a great deal of those as well. Through here? Log from the other side. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, that sounded close. Okay, this is blocks. We're not moving that out of the way. Around here. I just want to... I want to give all of these guys a wide berth. For that reason! There you go! Hang on, hang on. Ooh. Are you trying to lift that up or twist it? You should probably twist it first. It's rusted shut, apparently. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. You're not going to follow me, are you? So far, so good. I haven't really been caught out yet. There are threats, but they're fairly easy to avoid. And to be honest, I haven't had to hide much, have I? Alright. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, it seems like we're missing a cog. And they're in the wrong they're in the wrong places. I'll come back when I found that cog, I suppose. My father has been missing for over a year now, but today I received a mysterious package from someone who claims to have known him. Inside the package was a strange artifact like nothing I'd ever seen before. Apparently, during one of his expeditions, my father had found three such relics. Two of them he was carrying with him when he disappeared, and this one he sent to me. Holding the relic in my hand, I know that it had something to do with his disappearance. Perhaps I can use it to find him. So, was all this a quest to find Dad? Hmm. Right. You got any cogs in here? It's locked. So, probably, yes. Has this got something to do with the shutter? Yeah. Right. I suppose we're looking for a tool, aren't we? Really? Is that not going to work? No, that's not going to work. Okay, well, hopefully there's going to be something in here, because otherwise I'm kind of stuck. Alright. A wrench! A wrench! Okay, yeah, that's probably going to help me unbolt that part. Okay. So, we just need to make our way back through. Alright. Quite a lot of going back and forth in this game, isn't there? I'm wondering, you know, if maybe it's too much. Alright. Where are you? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're back to your original position, but it's you that I can't trust. Don't know about you. Right. Uh, yeah, it's right. Here we are. Were you there before? I don't think you were there before, to be honest. Right, here we go. Using the wrench, I should be able to actually get this part off. There you go. Okay, the replacement pump part. Fucking hell. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, right. And he disappears. That's, uh... That's happened again. And again, it doesn't really seem like there's much punishment for that, you know? Like, is he hurting me? Hmm. 
Maybe I can only take so many hits, I'm not sure. A cog. That's the white cog that we were missing as well, right. No flashlight in here? No? That'd be useful. Right. Had enough out of you. Let's get out of here. I can hear you moving. <laughs> Alright. So let's weasel our way around these guys again. It seems like we want to get down there, but it's rusted. So... Maybe through the cog shutter, I can find something that can sort the rust out? Hmm. Alright, so, here we are. That's more like it. Alright. So, the white ones need to go on top, and the, uh, the grey ones below. Okay. That counter's going down in the bottom left. Oh. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Oh, really? You need to do it in seven moves. I need to move all six of these in seven moves. That's kind of crazy, actually. Okay, well... Huh. There is a method to this, I'm sure. I can't select that grey one in the bottom right, maybe because it's fixed in by a couple more cogs, but the other ones I, I can. There you go. I think I've got it. Alright. That wasn't actually too difficult. And it does release the shutter. Up it goes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. Oh, hello. <laughs> what we got down here? All this for a... What is that? Another little key? It's another little key. The, whoa. The... All right. The paint locker key. Where's the paint locker? Where did he go? Is he still there? I don't know. It's so dark. No, I think he is still there, isn't he? Right. The paint locker key? Where is that? Here? Yeah? Ah, okay. Yeah, alright, so... Yep, it's a locker full of paint. <laughs> do we need any paint? No, but we do need Rust Guard, the Rust Remover. There you go. Now we can probably use that hatch, right? Anything else in here? I've only found one of those collectibles. I don't know if I've missed any. I probably have, honestly. Alright. Shall we? I think we shall. Okay. So, back this way. Again. But this time, I should be able to go down that hatch. Okay. Right. So. Over here. Uh-huh. That's more like it. And, oh, look at that. How handy. Right. Down we go. Alright. Let's see then. It's quite dark down here. Am I going to find a flashlight again? I really hope I find a flashlight again. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Let's stick to the light if possible. The light that's kind of disappeared now. Uh, up here? Yeah, alright. Okay. Okay, where am I now? I'm, <laughs> I'm so lost. Uh, it looks like we've got something to read. Some of the crew have begun experiencing chest pains and have been sent to sickbay. We're not quite sure what's causing it, but we have an extensive medical facility aboard, so we should be able to treat them. I'd still feel better if we could get them to a proper hospital. You're holding your chest as well. You were? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Maybe I meant to get you out of the way. Come on! 
Come on. You got a free kill right ahead of you. There you go. Nope, never mind. I can't actually open the door. Put myself in danger for no reason. Okay, we're going up here then. We're going up here. Alright. Oh. Okay. Ah. Right. Um. Are we going past him? I don't know. We have another hatch here. This one wasn't rusty. I can go right on down. Do I want to, though? Ooh, I probably do before he actually catches up to me, actually. Um, yeah, okay, let's let's head down. Let's head down. I keep hoping that I'm going to stumble into a flashlight. Maybe my own. Ah! Oh, come on. <sighs> Does that mean there's no going back up? No, I can't even try. I can't even try. Right. Okay. Uh, I found a cargo ship that should be taking a similar route that my father took on his final voyage. I was able to pay off the captain to take me on board. No questions asked. We're leaving tomorrow morning. I'm too anxious to sleep, but with the artifact securely stowed, there's nothing to do but wait and see what happens. I don't know if I'm going the right way. It looks like there was another way to go over here. Very, very dark, though. This looks very familiar. It looks like the area that I fell. Right, okay. Maybe we're just on the other side, or... Well, we're somewhere nearby. Still no sign of the flashlight, though. Okay. So, can't go through here. I'm just going to bypass you. Oh! Was it you that broke the railing? Hmm, okay. Okay! Well, I don't... I don't suppose I want to go that way, do I? That's where I fell. That's where I lost my flashlight. I've, I've got the replacement part. I should probably just head back to the elevator. Shouldn't I? Ooh. Can I? He's backing away. Letting me through. This feels like a trap. Is it just me, or is anyone else getting the impression that they're not all here to... to threaten me, to hinder me? I think some of them actually want to help. This area is a lot creepier now that it's completely dark, and I am a little lost. Yeah. This way and then right, I think? To be honest, yeah, I don't know why I'm whistling, because most of the time I don't like the response. <laughs> if I hear something, it's a bit unsettling. If I don't, it's still unsettling. Right. So can we just... Yeah, okay, we can just use the elevator again. I suppose that is where we want to go, isn't it? Back to the, uh, back to the cargo hold. Oh? What the hell is this? What? Oh, come on. I need those lights! Oh, come on. Alright, alright. What is this? Can we... Alright, we can pull those apart. <sighs> okay. More power issues? Do we need a, another fuse replacement? I've got to return power to the freight elevator. Flare safety. Please note the flares are here for emergencies only and should not be used indoors. Igniting flares inside the ship could cause suffocation or start a fire. Alright. Nevertheless, I've taken ten of them! Oh. Oh, okay. So we don't hold it, we throw it. Something down here too. That damn generator went off again this morning. Last time it happened, we were stuck down here for hours, waiting for the replacement parts to be brought up from storage. Additional spares have been left in a storage room up here now, in case it happens again. I see. I guess we can only carry ten at a time? Yeah, ten flares at a time. How long is that going to last as well? What's the 
Wait, this. <laughs> you don't go down, you don't go up. Alright. This seems fairly well lit. Somewhere else to save, something else to read. I managed to escape down to the service deck with a few others who were not infected. We've disabled the freight elevator, so we won't be followed. It's not much, but it's enough to let us catch our breath at least. We were able to scrounge together a good pile of canned food from the galley before we left, but we have no idea how long we're going to be stuck down here. Hopefully, we'll be able to wait it out. Well, they were missing for four years, right? Hmm, doesn't seem likely. No. I, another re Didn't like the sound of that. Another replacement part, though? I've got this, but I, I guess this isn't a pump, is it? Goodness me. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, let's save, and then we're going to venture into the darkness with our new flares. Right. Let's use another one. Alright. Storage! Storage! Whoa, yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh-huh, alright. Oh, we can try it? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's a chain shut. Right. Oh, hello. I can see you in there. I don't see much of anything else, though. Okay. Oh, boy. Right. Let's have a flare over here. Yeah, okay, there you go. And maybe a flare over here as well. Is there something to read there? If this sickness is airborne, we should probably turn off the large fan in the ventilation room to stop it circulating throughout the ship. We tried to get into the control room, but the door is locked. Gresham was holding on to the key, but he went to investigate the boiler room and has yet to return. This fan? Right. Let's see. Okay, nothing down there. Maybe something up the ladder, though. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to get in there, aren't I? But of course it's locked. We need to go and find Gresham, I suppose. Wherever he might be. We'll come back later. Gotta say, the flares do seem to have a fairly long lifespan. Yeah, quite like that. Right, let's uh, let's try these doors. Oh, okay, that seems to be blocked. That's not working. Right, boiler. Yes. Oh, what? Oh, I don't know. Is it going to be another year or something? A date? A... Hmm. This way. Locked from the other side. Is it? Ah. Uh. Did I miss something that mentioned what the code might be? No, I'm not really sure. I didn't notice that until it was nearly too late. What the fuck? Where did it go? You know, can we get some more flares? Let's go grab some more flares. Yeah, I, I know all about flare safety, believe me. Yeah, there you go, okay. <laughs> There's pretty much infinite flares down there. So that's good. Oh, oh, is this where it came from? Right, okay. Um, yeah. It's getting kind of dark and spooky. There you go. Right, let's see, let's see. This way? Records. We have a door here. That doesn't work. Okay, records maybe? Alright. Ah! What the... What the hell caused that? Ah, oh, we... <laughs> I love that only now the game is teaching me how to crouch. I had to crouch many, many more times before. Maybe it's just a, a helpful reminder. Stay out of the boiler room. Well, I think that's exactly where I want to go. There's something in the boiler room. Luke cornered me today, adamant that he saw something in there. At first, I thought one of the statues must have made it up here somehow, but as I approached the open door, I could hear whatever it was against the far wall just beyond the light's reach. I got out of there as quickly as I could and locked the door behind me. 
That's it, isn't it? That's what I just heard. We should stay out of that room unless we have no other choice. But in case of emergency, the combination is 3792. 3792. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Okay, back we go. 3792. Mm hmm. Let's see, what about the other side? Oh, the toilets? Huh. And now I've got to drain the water from the lower floor. My god, I've just turned into an engineer at this point, haven't I? Goodness gracious me, I'm just gonna get this ship back up and running myself. I don't think we're alone down here. I can hear skittering in the walls. I tried to tell myself it was all in my head, but now Gresham has gone missing. For safety, I think we might need to hole up in one of the rooms. A box of flares is all we have to keep whatever's down there at bay. Right, so it doesn't it doesn't seem to like the light, which is good. So yeah, as long as we stay in the well lit areas, or the flared areas, we should be alright. Hopefully. This area seems fairly well lit. So I, I should be okay, as long as these flares stay lit. So, the boiler room. 3792, was it? Yes, indeed. Okay, Gresham, you in there? Is that him? Could be. Right, let's all. Yep. I'm just going to throw a flare here. The more light, the better. Definitely heard something. Right. Ah, oh, you, I think you do actually have the key. There you go. So that's going to get me into that control room. Oh, shit. And of course he didn't drop the key. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're going through the wall. <sighs> Alright. This is ridiculous. Okay. Still no key on the floor? No? Okay. Let's throw another one. Oh, I can see a hand. And a big pool of blood. And a big hole. Right. Is it safe? The ventilation control room key, I think that was. Yep, okay, we are out of here. <laughs> yeah, this is where this strange spider thing lives. We're just going to leave it here in its home. Okay. Hurry up. <laughs> He's right there behind you. Okay. So, um, yeah, back to the fan. This area seems fairly well lit, so don't really think I need any more flares. I don't know about the control room itself, though. That seems pretty dark. Yeah, might might throw one in there. Better to be safe than sorry. All right, probably didn't need to do that, but there you go. Okay. Oh, there's that skittering again. If that's stopping, yeah, if that's stopped, I, I should be able to go through. How many flares have we got? I might go back and top up. I've got five. I want to go in and get five more. Alright. I'm pretty sure that these flares just don't go out. And I'm loving that. <laughs> you know what? Let's throw one down here as well. Yeah. Just make this the brightest area possible. There you go. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to wind our way around here to the right and then to the left through the fan. Hopefully no one turns it back on again. Oh, brilliant. Are they legs? Did I hear skittering? Hmm, hold on. Oh, really? I can't throw back there? <laughs> oh, now I can't really see back there. Right, okay. We're going through here. We're going to the legs. Which are moving. That's worrying.
Oh. Oh, he's just strung up with the wires and the ropes. Okay. Let's see. Now, someone was living down here. I don't think I'm making it out of this alive. I'm the only one left. The skittering is louder now. All I can do now is sit here and watch as the last flare burns out. Rough. The water pump controls. Right, here we are. So, flooded sectors. Okay, fresh water incinerator tunnel E. Let's see. Ooh, more skittering. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, some of these some of these areas are uh, are coming back online. Tunnel E still seems to be flooded. I don't know if we can change that. Right. So, I, I guess we need to go back to the toilets now, don't we? Right. Yeah, back to the toilets and... Oh, there it is! I thought I heard it! Right, well, if it's there, it's not here. So... Okay. We need to... Oh, what do we need to do? <laughs> I think we need to go back through here, don't we, to get to the toilets? It's a big place. It's a big ship. There's a lot to explore. Uh, this way? Oh, no! No, 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 no. Right, you're gonna have a flare down there with you, okay? That went out instantly. Can I just, like, kick that one down? No? Shit. Oh, that's because it's wet, isn't it? Oh, okay, right. Well, maybe flares down here. Not the best idea. Oh my fucking god. There's a body attached to those spider legs. Okay. Like that flare is going to stay lit. Around here. Okay. Uh, yep. Straight through the doorway, apparently. In fact, that's maybe not a good thing. <laughs> okay. Right. Where did that flare end up going? Oh, there's more here? Ah, oh, brilliant. There's more here. Oh. Hold on. That's water down there. That must be the flooded section. Tunnel E. That's locked from the other side, right? I'm gonna grab another one of those. Okay, there's a way up. I mean, eventually I will want a way up, won't I? Ah, yes. Okay, I know where I am. That's a handy little shortcut. So, down here, yeah. Um, do we follow the spider creature? I guess. Or do we go... Maybe we go down here. I don't know how deep that is, really. Hmm. Let's stay on dry land for now. Oh, I'm sorry, but that is far too dark for me. Uh-huh, okay. No spiders in here? Good, good, good. I don't know what this is, what it's meant to do, but it, it sounds like it's not going to be doing it for too much longer. Oh boy. Okay. Oh no. I should have brought the box with me. <laughs> okay, another one, just in case. Everything seems to be okay. Okay, the workshop. Another workshop, presumably. That's locked, of course. We go on here, then. Storage. What is it? It's seized up. What about that rust stuff? Did you just get rid of it all? Oh, for fuck's sake. Man. We just go from A to B to C to D to E to F to G, and then all the way back again, don't we? Right. There's just always so many things to do, and, and, and so much going back and forth. I think at this point, I can say that, yeah, there is a bit too much going back and forth. Right. I'll grab those, and I hope I don't die going in here. Okay, it's wasty. Good, good. I don't know if it's going to stay waist-deep. 
Oh, okay. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, this is uncomfortable. Okay. Okay, we made it through. Good. Never want to do that again, though. <laughs> All right. Okay, there's something on the table here. A workshop key. Right. Oh. Shit. That sounded close. It sounded like it was back there. That's why I threw the flare. Oh. Oh, lovely, lovely. Okay. Is there anything else around here? I mean, yes. Probably a lot of useful items, honestly, but nothing I want to pick up. So the workshop key. That's back here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Right near the end. How are you enjoying this game so far? I'm enjoying it. I think, you know, with a few tweaks it could be better. Um, and, you know, I'm not feeling all that threatened a lot of the time. Apart from when I see a, a big dark room in front of me. But yeah, overall, I am enjoying it. Come on. There's got to be something in here. Okay, there is. There is. Oh, bolt cutters? They look like bolt cutters. They are bolt cutters. That chain on the door upstairs. Yes, okay. All right. But then I've still got that to deal with, so I guess I'm going there to come back and sort that out, yeah. That's well, a good thing there's that shortcut, I suppose, right? Alright. Up uh, we go. I've lit the place up pretty well, so I don't think there's much chance of that spider appearing. He says, naively. <laughs> Alright. Let's see then. This might be the only dark room left. I don't know. Okay. Excuse me, buddy. There you go. I'm sorry to set your feet on fire, but I need to see in here. something, right? There has to be something. Okay, there is. O oil! Oil! Right! Oil in this jerry can. Okay, so the oil is going to help me with the valve wheel? I guess? Okay. So, down we go. I suppose I could have dropped down or used the ladder, really. Doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to pick up some more flares, I think, while I'm here. Uh huh. A couple more. That could be a couple more escapes from death, though. Who knows? Yeah, these flares are amazing. <laughs> I actually don't really want my flashlight back all that much. They're that good. Right, now that it's oiled up, now I can turn it. Just about. Still seems kind of stiff. Okay. Oh boy. Right. In you go. Okay, so, yeah, it's it's another storeroom. It's storage. Let's throw another one. Okay. Oh. Is that the part? That's the generator part. Yes. That's right next to the save point, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so we need to go back there. And it looks like that is the only thing to find. Okay. Alright. Are we out of here? I think we're out of here. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. I'm surprised that we didn't see the spider again. I mean, we, we heard it, but didn't see it. Maybe it's because of my superior flaring skills. Who knows? So, right, the generator part needs to go back over through here, next to the save point. And is that going to get the elevator up and running again? Based on what we read, I think so. 
Oh, I didn't like the sound of that. <laughs> let's save, let's save, and let's get that generator part in, shall we? Okay. Whoa! Careful. Escape the service deck. Okay, will do. Right, so... this way. Whoa, 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 what the... I looked to the left, there was nothing there! Where the hell did it come from so quickly? Right. It doesn't like the light, but it isn't afraid to go into the light when it wants to hunt me down, apparently. Oh. Right, okay, so... Where are we going? We're, oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember. We were coming down here, weren't we, to try and fix that water pump. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you should be there. You two? Not so sure. So, it was around here, wasn't it? All the way around on the other side? I think. Yeah, that sounds right to me. Still don't have a flashlight. And wait, wait, do I... Oh, I got rid of the flares? What's wrong with this guy? What's his name? John? John, you're an idiot. Right. Cargo hold two. Yes. Okay. So that was flooded, wasn't it? This is now draining that water? <sighs> right. Okay, so back around here. There was a door by the elevator, I think, wasn't there? To get in. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. Well, there's a door over there to cargo hold too, but that's not going to work. Right, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Is it this one? Okay, now it works. Right. <laughs> Find the elevator up to the superstructure. I'd love to. I'd love to. I've just been pissing about fixing things. Right. That big guy that threw us down here, we haven't seen him again, have we? Oh, right. Yeah, I wonder when he's going to turn back up. Right, I'm going to have to go past you, I think. That's okay, that's alright. Oh. oh, okay, it's you, it's you. Storage, let's see. No? We can't get to storage. Feels like we've been to storage like five or six times already, honestly. <laughs> How many storerooms does this place have? Okay. Come on. Hurry. Hurry. Alright. We made it to the other side. Right, there's another hatch. Which I, I can't even try. Can't even mess with that either, okay. Through the shutter then? Alright. Deck seven. That's where we are. Bloody hell. Okay. We're saving again. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. I hope you're in for a long one. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I was not ready for that. Right, so he's just pushed me into the the elevator well? Oh, what is this? Another cog issue? Oh, the, the drive chain's missing, actually, this time. So again, we need to fix the fucking elevator! It's like a broken bloody record now. Right. Okay. Right, let's see. We got anything here? There's a lever. That doesn't seem to work. Oh? One of the valve handles... <laughs> of course! One of the valve handles is missing. Yeah, okay. This way? No, it's too... I know it's too dark! I know! Why didn't he bring the flares? I think the game agrees with me. So, for fuck's sake, what do we, what do, we do? There must be something out here that I've missed. Some, some place in the darkness. Let's just try this again. 
Hey there. No. I can kind of see. Okay, right. No, that's a staircase to nothing. That is a staircase to a container. That's not. That's not where we need to go. Um. Right. We're gonna go back to the other side with uh, one of the statues that I can't trust. What's all that? What's that noise? And why am I heading towards it? Oh! Is it you? One of you guys? Oh, thank you. Alright. This way. Probably too dark, right? Oh. The light's missing a bulb. Okay, so we need to fix the light bulb too. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll add it to my ever-growing list. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, we, uh, we made it through before. We're doing it again. Wading through the water. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, maybe I don't want to go through here. Looks like we need a valve wheel, though, right? The handle's missing. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> two different handles that we need. Oh, bloody hell. There's a lot that we need, basically. A hell of a lot. What's this? We've made it down into the cargo area. We were told to stay in the superstructure, but no one goes up there anymore with what's happened to the medical deck. It should be safe down here, but to make sure nothing can follow us, we've removed the drive chain for the elevator. Okay. Is that it? No, no, that's the light bulb. Okay, well, that's something. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have to go around you. Mm. Yeah, sometimes you are kind of cornered. There's not really anything you can really do. But again, it doesn't really feel like there's any punishment for that. It feels like I could just run into any of them, get punched many times, and still go through it. It doesn't feel like there's really any stakes. Oh. Early on, I, I did I did see the water rippling. There was something kind of invisible, right? Is there something below the water? Oh. Right. He's watching me again, whoever this guy is. Go on, go on, back you go. There you go, yeah, 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 and you're gone, right? You're gone, of course. Hmm. Right, let's fix this bulb. Okay? Is it this? It is this, isn't it? Oh, thank the lord. I, I guess I've still got the screwdriver or something, so I can still go on through. In here? Hello. Okay. Right, so that's not working. In here? Nothing. Something to read? More and more crew members are finding themselves on the medical deck. More patients are experiencing chest pains and worsening symptoms. Could it be contagious? The crew are growing increasingly anxious. The best thing we can do is keep them quarantined on the medical deck. Between this fog, the engines going down, being missed by that rescue team, and now this sickness, it's becoming difficult to keep everyone calm. I bet. Okay, that doesn't work either. You are not to be trusted, are you? I just have a bad vibe about you, and that's why. Okay. Right. So, oh. What the fuck is that? I really wish I had a flare right now. Whoa. Okay. I see a valve wheel. I see a valve wheel and like a female mannequin head. That's different. Yeah, that's different. So is it just that? Oh, 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 hello. So that's where you are. Right, if I could get to you, I'd strangle you for pushing me down that fucking elevator shaft. <sighs> okay, so, the valve, the valve wheel. Um, we can go and, we can go and sort that shutter out, can't we? And this guy's gone. Uh, so that's gonna be back this way, yeah. Right. Over here. Uh, I think it was just around the corner to the right, wasn't it? Yeah, and that ripple in the water, I think that was just a red herring. 
Right. It's not rusted. I don't need to, you know, use any other tools. Ah! Uh. Did it work or not? And are you going to keep that for later? Oh, it kind of worked. Oh, shit. Ooh. Don't know if I like that. Are they tentacles or is... Ah, that might be rope. I don't know. Ah, it's, it's rope. It's fucking rope. <laughs> I'm spooking myself now. Ah, oh, shit, look, a flashlight! Oh my god, ah. Oh, it's been so long. It's been so long. Right, I've got myself a flashlight. That's fantastic. Okay. And yeah, I can confirm it is just rope. So... Oh, we've got to go back again, haven't we? There was the area that was just a little bit too dark. Now it's not going to be too dark. Okay. Yeah, so back this way. Uh, where else? Where else? Was there anywhere else I could maybe look into the darkness? Find something that I, I couldn't see before? Nothing springing to mind at the moment, but... Hmm, yeah. Back to the, uh, back to the control room. This way. Yep. Come on, man. That's quite a wide gap. Why are you being so slow about it? <laughs> okay. Here we are. Right. Yeah, so down here. Down here. Hopefully this is where we're going to find all the useful items. And that's that. Machinery? Yeah, okay. Oh. Did someone just peer around the corner? Chain storage, yes. Ah, it's locked, okay. <laughs> We've got the thinker over here. Um, Alright, something else to read? Okay, a little bit more background story. It appears that those who first started showing symptoms had spent more time on the main deck. Could it be exposure to the fog that's causing this strange sickness? So far, none of the crew who have been confined to the lower decks have gotten sick. I've been outside a few times, but thankfully my duties keep me mostly indoors. As a precaution, the captain has ordered that the crew are not to go above deck for any reason until further notice. Sounds wise. Okay. Oh. Alright. Are we going this way? Uh. Hmm. Yeah, let's go this way. I, I want to stay in the well-lit areas. Okay. What's this? Uh-huh. Alright. Oh. Oh, there's a sequence. Okay. So they've all got to go in order. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I can figure this out. It's just going to take a little bit of trial and error. There you go. Didn't take too long. So what did that do? It's got some of the machinery up and running. Okay, they're coming after me. Looks like I don't need to do anything with this panel. Right, we're going this way? We go up to go down. Alright. Ah, well that, that light's now green. Okay. Well, yep. Yeah. Let's see, is it going to work? Alright! Again, we're making progress. Yeah, let's not, let's not learn how to jump right now. What the? What is that? It doesn't look good, whatever it is. Okay, not going that way. Oh, okay, hi guys. May I? Okay. <laughs> now that I know that I can't go that way, I'm never going near you again. And I can't go that way either. Oh. Oh no, really? Yeah, really. Okay, now I actually do want you to take your time. Okay, well that's one way over. Right, so what, what do they see? Oh. Oh god, they're all body parts? What the fuck happened here? Oh, there's something on the something on the floor. What is this? Another part? 
Oh no, it's like a- it's a camera! It's a camera! Oh, okay. Did someone record all this? Oh. I've been there. That's the hatch that I couldn't open. Okay. trapped and locked in, he couldn't get out. That's the big guy. That's the guy that threw me down here. Is, is that this room? There are the bodies. They haven't been torn to shreds though yet. Oh, all oh, right. No screams, nothing. Really quick kill. Oh my god. Oh! Right. Well, there you go. Wonderful, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of wish I didn't actually watch that now. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. This way. All right. This is the area that he was running in the uh, in the video, isn't it? Over the last few days, the patients have been getting worse. What started as chest pain soon developed into a strange hardening of the skin and stiffening of the joints until the patients unable to move on their own. The illness has already proved fatal in some cases. Stranger still, some of the bodies have gone missing from the morgue. We need to get the remaining patients to a hospital as soon as possible. Right. Oh no. Okay, the more body parts I see, the more I feel under threat. This is what we saw though, isn't it? This is, this is what we saw in the video. I must be going mad. I've been seeing some of my friends again, but that's impossible. They're dead. I know they're dead. I saw it happen. But every now and then I see them again, watching me from across the room. Sometimes it feels like they're guiding me. I know exactly how you feel. They're not all out to harm us. Right. This is the door that he couldn't get through. It's locked. Yep, it remains locked. Right. Are we heading up? I think we're heading up. What is that that I can hear? Hmm. It might be one of those sounds that doesn't really mean anything. But it might not be. What's that? What was that? A oh, it's the pressure gauge valve! Right! Uh, you're going to be a problem, aren't you? Okay, right. Well, uh, I'm not going to go that way. I'm hearing skittering. I, I'm not hearing whistling. Yeah, I don't think it's the statues that I need to be worried about so much. Right, we're going down here. We're, <laughs> we're gonna hopefully get out of here. Okay, that door's open? It wasn't. Again, maybe one of these guys helped me. I really do not like the sound of that. Okay, so uh, down here, yeah. No, oh, no, 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 no. This way, this way. Come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Okay. Yep, yeah, close it. Maybe put something on that as well so it can't come through. Oh, I know where I am. I know where I am. Oh, yeah, okay, so I think I might be able to use the valve just around here. Okay, so, what do we got? What do we got? Another puzzle by the looks of it. Okay, so I can change these valves. Yeah, okay. Nice. Okay, let's try this again. From red to green, that's gotta be good. Okay, yes. 
So we can use this now. We can use this now, right. <sighs> Is this where I'm going to find the chain? Oh my god. It's just a wild goose chase looking for one particular part, you know? Oh, look at this area. Oh, okay. Is it just me and a light down here? Alright. Oh no. Me, a light, and a body. And I think another key. The chain storage key. Well, I'm very glad it's down here. I've been everywhere else. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh. Oh, right, the helicopter's fixed up. We're almost back to the ship. What's going on in there? A hell of a lot. I'm heading up to the superstructure now to release the lockdown. I've searched the lower decks and found no survivors. But you found something! You're not going to tell him that? Okay, understood. We'll be there to extract you soon. We've just got a visual on the ship. Looks like it's coming up on a large fog bank. Oh dear, that's not good, is it? Do not enter the fog. I'll explain later. Well, you'd better hurry then. We don't have much time before the fog reaches you. Brilliant. Brilliant, okay. So... Let's go and get that chain, let's go and fix the elevator, and let's... Let's get the hell out of here, right? So, chain storage. Uh, was it this one to the left? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm navigating this place so well. A lot of it does look very similar. There you go. That's it. That's what we needed. Plenty of chains in here. Anything else? No? No more collectibles? No, I <laughs> I think I've, uh, I've missed three or four of those. Maybe all six. I don't know. Uh, so, right, we've got to drop down, I suppose. There you go. Gently does it. Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. Right, is it going to work? No one's pushing me down this time? No? Good. Okay. See? See, and it's going down. Today. Oh bloody hell. Oh man. Could you maybe come down a little bit faster, please? There's a lot of moments where I don't feel under threat. This is not one of those moments. Oh, those noises, they're getting closer. Come on, come on, we're so close! Yes! Open the door, open the door! Fucking go, 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 go. <laughs> Alright, we are going to sea, apparently. Okay. Oh, hello again. Weird. Do you think that was the guy that was in the cargo container to begin with? The one that wanted the manifest? Mm. Okay. Find a way onto the bridge. Alright. Why didn't we go to the nav deck? Oh, are we going to the nav deck? I guess I've got big thumbs. Uh, Alright, okay, the bridge. Yes, good, good. Okay. Well, here we are. Authorized personnel only. Haha, <laughs> that's what you think. Oh no, what's this? Level 3 security clearance is required to access the bridge. If you think you should have access but haven't been issued a keycard, see the security officer on A deck. Wonderful. Of course it's locked. And this door does need a keycard. Okay, A, A deck? A deck. Right, so we are going down after all. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Officers' quarters, the archives, conference room, communications, all sorts down here, actually. That is not a nice sound. Right, is this going to work? Of course it's not. Of course it's not. Oh, boy. All right, what about this one? Okay, this works, thankfully. Right. Third officer. Okay. You're the third officer? Not exactly what I expected. Somewhere to hide again? Oh, it's been so long. Right, does that mean the big guy is going to be a threat around here? Probably, right? Probably. Okay. 
What have we got here? Oh, yep, yeah, okay, your little bathroom. I don't think it's really time for a shower. Okay, communications? Locked. Oh. Someone was just here. In security. Strange. Ah, look at this. Someone's been monitoring my progress, I think. Okay. We can go through the cameras and we can rotate. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, we can rotate as well. Washing machines? We've got like a laundry area by the looks of it. Okay. Oh, hang on. What? Uh, four, two, four, two, three, nine. I am just going to make a note of that. Four, two, three, nine. Written in blood on the wall. That's always good. Oh. <sighs> He's gone. I think we're just going through the same cameras again. Okay. Right. Yeah, only a few of them work. Okay. What have we got then? Until further notice, the security disk for creating new keycards will remain with me. Over the last few days, we've seen a number of crew members trying to gain unauthorized access to the bridge to release the lockdown, and that's a risk I'm not willing to take. Things will go back to normal once we're out of this fog, and it's safe to lift the lockdown. Captain Taylor, right. So, we need a blank keycard and the security clearance disk. And I don't have either of them. It's not over yet, guys. It's not over yet. Okay. Is that somewhere? Okay, that's somewhere to save. It's been a while, so why not? There you go. How long have I been playing now? About two hours. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a long one. Right. Let's see. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought you were going to be around here. Just not here now. He has a bit of a habit of throwing me through doors, doesn't he? Okay, we can't go that way. Bloody hell. Nope. In here? Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Hide, 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 hide. <sighs> okay, what the hell's this? Is this the, uh, the conference room? Conference room with lockers. Don't usually see that, but okay. Oh. If he's coming this way, he's taking his sweet ass time. Maybe I should leave. I think I'm gonna leave. Right. Close the door? Close the door. Okay, right. Where? What? <laughs> Has this been running for four years? What's this? Y yeah? Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Uh. I don't think it's the flashlight that we need, is it? Weird. Very weird. Okay. We'll have to come back and find something else. Reminds me of that. It reminds me of the uh, the Resident Evil 7 puzzle, I think, with the shadow. Is that the same kind of idea? Right, so the captain... Okay. Yeah, we can't go in there. Couldn't go in here either. No, that's locked. Where did he go? I can't hear him anymore. He just threw me through the door and that was that. Maybe he's the one that's trying to help me. Bizarrely. He's just pushing me in the right direction. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I was uh, I was going to have a look at this, wasn't I? So... Okay. Hold on. Let's maybe work from the bottom up. Is there anything in there? Is there anything in any of these? Right, there's more to this than meets the eye, I think. We uh, we might want to come back to this, I'm not sure. Right, so what we got here? Second officer? Okay, here we are. Oh, can't go in there. Anything good? No. Seems like fairly big quarters, a comfy looking sofa there. Can't go in and use the bathroom, though. Right. Weird. Are we going down again? Oh, bloody hell. Ooh. B-deck, keep out. Why? 
the morgue, maybe? I don't know. Oh, it's you. It was you. It won't open. Probably for the best. Okay, let's try this exit. Nope, not gonna work either. Okay. Well, that was B deck. You can't get in there. Uh, down to C? Uh huh. We can go down again? What's this? The room assignment? Scott, Miranda, Nick, Edward, Kirsten, Fred. Is that important? Laundry, locker room, showers, toilets, and crew rooms? Okay. Well, we can go in here. Alright. Let's just take this door by door. Not seeing much. And I'm not seeing anywhere to hide either, so let's just leave that room. One. Okay. Okay, there's a locker to hide, so that's good. Anything else? I don't want to go through the personal belongings, no? Uh, what about the sort of ensuite bathroom? Anything around here either? Oh man. Okay. Toilets. Now we're talking. Hmm. Dare I whistle? Let's try it. Oh, he didn't respond. Someone else did, though. Someone down there. Okay, let's see. Alright. I don't think there's anything here, so I'm going to be leaving, and I'm going to be going over to number two. Okay. Are we going to find something in these rooms at some point? <laughs> I hope so. No, 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 no. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to lock myself in the bathroom, please. I want to get off this ship. He's out and about. Storage. Okay. Alright, let's close this up. Okay, nothing in locker number one. Two. No. Three. Ah, three. Oh, what was what was that code? Hold on, hold on. I've got it, I've got it. It's four, two. Four, two, three, nine. Nine? Like, no? <laughs> that, that, that's not it? Huh. Alright. Nothing in there either. And there's too many boxes for me to have a look at four and five. Do I want that? What is that, a hook? Am I going fishing? Is this really the time for fishing? Right, three. Okay. We've got some food supplies down there, by the looks of it. Even after all this time. Probably not that great to eat, though. To all new recruits, welcome aboard. Your personal belongings can be stored in your designated locker in the storage room across the hall. The combination of which has been set to your birth year. Feel free to change the combination. Any bulkier items have been stowed in the cargo hold. So, yeah, unless that person was born in the year uh, 4,239, that's not it. Four. Alright. Hmm. I, I don't blame you, but it didn't seem to really work out for you, did it? Good God. Alright. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Uh, what have we got here? Showers? Showers. Okay. Anyone using the shower? Oh, there is actually someone using the shower. Okay. To the maintenance team. This morning I dropped my cabin key in the shower room, and I believe it may have fallen down one of the drains. If someone happens to find my key, I'd appreciate it if you could return it. Thanks. Derek Norton, first officer. Cool. Right. Oh, gee! Wow, okay. That one caught me off guard. But it still doesn't really mean anything, which is, I think, the biggest shame in this game, you know? If it meant something, if I was on, you know, minimal HP or something like that, I'd be so cautious, so careful. Is this it? Right, yeah, there is something in the drain. It can't... Oh, that's what the hook's for. That's what I need the hook for. So... I need to figure out... Uh, Derek's birth year? Wait, was it Derek, though? I don't know if it was Derek. Hmm. 
Wait, 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 wait. It's number three. And three... Three is this one here. I'm just... I'm wondering if I'm going to find any... Any clue as to how old this person is. Wait, didn't it say... Hold on, hold on. There was, there was a name. There were a list of names at the front. Nick. Nick Stafford. It's Nick that owns that locker. How old's Nick? When was Nick born? I guess we could just go through the years, you know? It's probably going to be 19-something. I just don't want to do that. Oh? I got a nameplate here for a Mr. Hackett. Okay. All right. I don't know why I have all the things I wanted to pick that up. Oh, hello. <laughs> Are you Mr. Hackett? Sorry. Nothing here. Nothing here. No, okay. Was I meant to find nameplates in the other rooms? I don't know. Six! Nothing here. No. Somewhere else to hide. Although, for the most part, it doesn't really seem like I need to. The laundry, right. Yeah, we saw this earlier, didn't we? Alright. Is it this one? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. You guys wait right there, okay? I'm doing my laundry! Oh god, that's my laundry? A severed hand? What's that? Looks like a piece of paper, not a key this time. Uh-huh, okay. Those files, those little cabinets near the save point. I guess these are the drawers that you need to open. There is some sort of puzzle and a sequence to this, I suppose. So I'm just gonna... Let's just say four... Four, six, eight, and fifteen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Almost the numbers from Lost. But yeah, okay. Where did the other one go? Right. Anything else? Do want to get too close? Yeah. Um, okay. All right. Well, maybe we should go back up to deck A then, right? To uh, the. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that got me. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should go back up to deck A. Where is this guy that threw me through the door again? I haven't bumped into him. Maybe he's down on a, a lower deck now? Right, so, okay, we, uh... Let's just put them all back in for now. 3E, that can stay. So that one, that one, and is it... Is it this one? Oh. Okay. Uh, something in this. Horizon Freightways, the crew manifests. Okay. Oh, we've got yeah. It's for the it's for the the dobs. It's for the date of birth. That's right. So uh, Nick Stafford, nineteen eighty four. If he didn't change it, his birth year, yeah, nineteen eighty four. Okay, cool. Right. There's another one down there. Maybe there's some sort of other. No, oh, can I not use this again? I guess not. I was wondering if I was going to open that drawer with another combination. Very strange. Very strange. Let's save. Okay. So, yeah, 1984. Could have definitely guessed that. A lot of the combinations do appear to be years. <laughs> I don't know if that's such a good idea either. It might have been better if it was like month and day instead. So this, hopefully, is going to be unlocked soon. Nineteen eighty-four. He didn't change it. Okay, right. So that is string and hook. Yeah, with the string and hook, I should be able to go to the showers, wherever they are. I think this way. Was it the last one? I think it was the last one, wasn't it? Yeah, here. And that's going to be his key.
Okay, perfect. The office's key. Uh, and the officer's quarters were up on the upper decks, right? So, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. How far down can we go, just out of interest? Oh, just one more floor. Oh, hello. D-deck, right. Crew mess, galley, lounge, gym, library, officer's mess. Ha ha ha! Fuck you. Can I go in? Yes, I can. Right. Close the door. Fuck you. Ah, <sighs> okay. Right. Here we are. The library, yes. No, it's locked. Okay. What we got in here? The lounge. Yes, the lounge. Weird. I'm not getting any whistles from here. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's someone to my left. One's moving. And there's a key for something. Oh, the communications room. That's on the same deck that I want to go back to, isn't it? So, Right. Through here. Oh, there he is. Long time no see, buddy. Bloody hell. Okay, we're going this way. Okay, we're going this way. We're going to go around here. We're going to go back up to A deck, possibly. Okay. All right. So what we got? B here. Yep. Ah, ah, ah. This is not the time, mate. This is not the time. He's not there. He's not there. Right. Okay. Let's close this up. There you go. The communications, yes. I did unlock it, you're right. Close this one too. Got anywhere to hide? No? Okay, well, hopefully this is enough. Morse code. Oh, a Morse code puzzle now? Okay. Alright. Oh, we're actually doing it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um... Yes. <laughs> I don't know what we're meant to write here. I don't know if I should be writing anything at this point, honestly. Alright, we've got music playing. We've got another one of these briefcase... Ah, wait. 4-2. Let's try 4-2 here. Maybe that's going to work. 4-2-3-9. Ah, there you go. It's the briefcase combination. And crest? Crest. Is that what I need to write, then? Crest. Like that? Okay, so the R is... Like that? It is very simple. <laughs> there you go, and then T. Crest. Why are there so many puzzles on this ship? Okay, so where does that go? Oh, that's the library key. Okay, well, I don't know if I want to go back down there right now, because I think that's where he's roaming around. That's cool, though. Uh, so... There was the officer's quarters around here somewhere? First officer? Here we are. Okay. Okie dokie. Are we going to find anything here? No? Oh boy, we're going to find a safe. Jeez, oh, okay. There was a safe without a dial before. And now, there's a dial. I, I don't know. I'll have to come back a little later on. Maybe this is the clue. Oh, no, this is actually the blank key card. Right, yeah, okay. Um, I think I need to go into the captain's area, don't I, for the other bit? Isn't that what I read? No, that's locked. Hmm, hmm, okay. Um, yeah. I think we should probably go back down to D-deck, if it's safe to do so. We have unfinished business down there. Uh-huh. Again, I don't hear him, but he's he's quite silent when he wants to be. Right, so hold on. The library key. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, that's the combination that helped me out a moment ago. You gonna be cool? 
Uh, hold on. You, you just wait right there. We have another nameplate here. Do I want to pick it up? Oh, there we go. J. Blackwood. And what's this? What is that? Looks like a wooden sculpture. Maybe a fancy key. I don't know. Thank you. He really didn't want to let it go, did he? It's a wooden statue. There you go. Whoa, yep. <laughs> yeah, the game can still make me jump even, you know, two plus hours in. I am overall enjoying it. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty solid experience. Um, okay. Should we continue exploring down here? It might be safe. Might be. The gym. Yeah, let's go work out, shall we? Alright. Anything over here? That's just the remote for the TV, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I don't think I really want to have a go on the treadmill or grab some dumbbells. I'm good. I'm good. This way. <laughs> you know what? You can stay right there. The office is mess. Okay. Alright. Something else to read? Being the chief mate, Norton sits at the head of the table. Blackwood and Ackerman like a glass of wine with their meals. Leighton sits opposite to Blackwood. Hackett sits at the end of the table, closest to the galley. Mm -hmm. I bet he does. Uh huh. All right. Yeah, I see. Oh yeah, I see the couple of wine bottles. Oh, areas for the nameplates. I see. We've only found two of them though. Oh, one of them is actually here. So we need to find two more. Yeah, we need to find two more. Right, okay. I'll come back to this when I found them all. Anyone in here? Any nameplates in here? Nothing in the fridge? No? I don't fancy a bite to eat. I've been through a lot, you know? I've exerted myself quite a bit. I think I, I, I do need, like, a protein bar or something. Somewhere else to save? Why not, right? When in Rome... Okay, so that's that. And the lounge. Oh, this is where, right, this is where he was. Nothing, nothing there at all, no. Uh, okay. This wooden statue, I, I think I know where I need to put that. I think this is going to be a lot like that Resident Evil 7 puzzle with the shadow. Where was that? Was that a deck? Where's that coming from? That might be a deck as well, the communications area, right? There was that record player there. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna leave the music on. I kinda like it. It might mask the sounds of my movements. And his, potentially. <laughs> right, so Captain's Quarters. This was the yeah, this is the conference room. That's it. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, let's try the wooden statue. Okay. That. Hang on, it's it's the wrong way around. Oh, look at that! That is so close. It's him. It's him riding his horse. Like that? Mm, yeah, like that. Close enough. <laughs> oh, cr oh, okay. There's one of the nameplates. Oh, and I think that might be the safe combination as well. Okay, S. Ackerman. Yep. Okay, and it's twelve seven two five. Seven, two, five. There you go. And that's his nameplate. That was the only thing that was in there? Bloody hell, this puzzle is really important, apparently. <sighs> so I've got the four nameplates. There's already one down there. We just need to figure out exactly where they should be sitting, and then... something. 
Something happens. Good googly moogly. The amount of bullshit that I've had to go through to get to places in this game. Oh, right. Uh, deck D again, yeah? Okay. Uh, here. Yes. Okay, so... Chief Mate, Norton sits at the head of the table, so he's going to be the sort of odd one out. He's going to be the one over here. Norton, right. Yes. Now we just need to figure out the rest of it. <laughs> Blackwood and Ackerman like a glass of wine with their meals, apparently. Okay, so we've got... Oh, let's just guess. Blackwood can be there. Ackerman can be here. Yep. Okay, and then... Let's see. Leighton sits opposite to Blackwood. Blackwood's there. Leighton, that was the one that we didn't find. Yep, okay, so you've got to be the other guy. Is it Hackett? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, wow, okay, that was it. Brilliant. So, it's a key. All that for a key. A key to... Oh, it's the captain's key! Which might mean it's the key to that thing that I need for the PC, so I can get the key card! Jesus Christ! Okay, we're leaving again, we're leaving again. Right. Here he comes. Right. We're gonna give him a, a little, little run around here. There we go. <laughs> right. I would close the door, but I know we can get through doors and walls and virtually everything, really. Okay. Back to the captain's area. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Okay. Over here. Yes, I unlocked it. Right, so... Oh, dear. Hey. Uh, I might want that. I hope you don't mind. Okay, yep, level three security credentials, thank you. Uh, I, I, I'll just leave you to it, maybe. Yep. Uh-huh, alright. Cool, right, yep, I'm off. Why is that closed? Hmm. Oh! No! Oh, it's so I can fall into B deck. Or Silent Hill 4, apparently. Right. It's locked. Well, I can see that, yeah. <laughs> the waiting room, yeah. We might be waiting quite a while. Hmm, you were. Anything around here? What we got here? An office? Okay. I'll just whistle for old time's sake. Okay, someone's whistling back. Examination. Okay, what's this? Patients appear to be suffering from an unknown illness. The illness progresses as follows. 1. The patient experiences intense chest pain, which will worsen over time. 2. Fatigue begins to set in, and the colour of the patient's skin begins to take on a paler tone. 3. The patient will begin to show signs of impaired mobility due to stiffening of the joints. 4. X-rays show signs of calcification of internal organs, beginning from the lungs and then spreading out throughout the rest of the body. This makes breathing difficult for the patient. 5. Calcification begins to affect the skin as well, giving the patients a stone-like appearance. 6. The virulence of the illness seems to be related to the length of exposure to the fog, with the quickest deaths occurring within two days, while others have survived for up to two weeks. The cause of death in most cases is respiratory failure, caused by excessive calcification of the lungs. However, the process seems to continue even after death, until the entire body has been calcified. And you turn into something like this. Still calcifying, I guess. I, that might be why some still have movement, and some don't. I, I don't know. The infirmary here. Mm-hmm. Okay, not like another look at this. <laughs> uh, alright. One. No. Two. No. Alright. Can I not go in? Maybe that's a good thing. Let's just get to the end here. We've got boxes. We've got, we've got boxes. We've got a padlock key. Okay. Well, 
Oh. That'll be for the way out of here, I suppose. Uh-huh. Two more? It wouldn't feel right if those two were destroyed. Okay. Records. Okay. Anything here? No. Doesn't seem like it, does it? Okay. A little bit more to explore. I should probably go... And oh, hello. <laughs> I should probably go and use that padlock key, though. Surgery! Okay. Can I wash my hands? No. No, I'm not a surgeon. I'm an engineer at this point. Oh, no. No spiders in here? No. What the hell is that that I can hear? Oh, dear. Right. Uh, is that another key? Another pad? Oh! oh. He is the one that's helping me. In a very strange way, but yeah. Maybe not him. Maybe his spirit's helping me. But right, I've got two padlock keys. Looks like there's two more. <laughs> of course, it's the door to the morgue that opens by itself. Hello. What's this? We've got... Is that another one? The, ah, yeah, okay. All right. Oh, yeah, just... Batter me. I have probably got, you know, the worst black eye at this point. But that's it. I'm actually okay. And finally... I don't know if what I'm hearing is on this floor or maybe above me. Right. I, I do know that I have three padlock keys, though. I don't know how many padlocks were on the door. But let's see if we can maybe get some of them off. I can see two. I, yeah, I can see three. Okay. There's one. Are we doing them all? I think we must be doing them all. Yes. Okay. Right. Well, there you go. That was B-Deck. Now we've really explored the place. Okay. So, yeah. Let's avoid that hole. And let's go in here. And let's try the PC. Okay, so in goes the key card. That's the disc. Yeah. We don't have power issues or anything like that. We don't need a, a password. Okay, I'm Scott Ackerman now, apparently. Brilliant. Right. I'm going to save. I'm going to save and we are going to get to the navigation deck, right? We're going to get to the bridge. Finally. Like two and a half hours later, we finally get to the bridge. The ship will be entering the fog any minute now. Where the hell are you? Seems like we're running out of time. Okay. Here we go then. Up to the top. Uh, oh, no, wait, it was through here. <laughs> this has got a slightly different design. Yeah, so, use the card there. Alright. We're in. Okay, release the lockdown. How? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So where's that guy? He's going to show up again. I know it. Uh, there's a lever here. Is this it? Is this the lockdown lever? Oh, the, the shutters are going up. And there he is. There's Simon, who's flying a little bit too close for my liking. Okay. Escape the ship, yes. Yes. I, I like that objective. Is there nothing else to find? Like, seriously? Huh, okay. Well, it doesn't seem like it. This way. Alright, ah, uh, okay. So is this going to take us... I think this is going to take us all the way down to the deck. Alright. Come on, come on. Right. We have been on the ship far too long. Far, far too long. Where? Where's our friend? Where's Simon? Are we being chased or something? It feels like we're being chased. There he is. Right. Okay, you're just gonna you're just gonna be there. Hold on, hold on. If I go up here then. 
Here we are. Maybe I can just pop off it. Yeah, yeah. Here we are. Okay. Can we fly away, please? Was I being chased there? It feels like I was being chased there, but I never actually saw who was chasing me. I was just running really, really quickly, and, you know, the music in the background made me think that. No sign of anyone. All right. Oh, there's the wall of fog. I was so close to going in there with it. So, is it going to disappear for another four years in that fog? I kind of hope it stays there a little bit longer, really. Oh, and that's that. Really, that's how it ends. That was so abrupt. Okay, well, there you go. That was the end to Lazaret, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video, all right? What did you think? I thought this was a pretty solid indie horror game. It was pretty good overall. And, you know, I think it's just these two people, Daniel and David, working on it. Brothers, perhaps? Really, really good job, guys, honestly. I do, however, think that with a few tweaks here and there, a few finishing touches, it could have been a lot better. But let's focus more on what I liked. I loved the way it looked and the way it sounded, the sound design, the creaks of the ship especially, I really liked. It was very immersive, actually, with the swaying back and forth, the creaks. It, it really did feel like I was on board the ship. I, I don't suffer with seasickness, but I think if you actually, you know, increase the sway in the head bob a little bit too much, maybe you'd actually feel that. And that's actually a compliment in this game. Um, I liked the areas. I liked the puzzles. I liked the enemies, um, although I don't think we saw enough of them, you know, outside of the statues. I do think that the, the whistling mechanic was good, but it was underutilized. Uh, we'll get onto that in a second. Yeah, I like the length of the game overall. It was beginning to outstay its welcome. It was getting a little bit monotonous, a little bit mundane just going back and forth. A lot of the game, unfortunately, did feel like we were going from section to section just to fix problems, you know? So I was just going to go fix more problems in this section, and then so on and so forth. And yeah, it, it was a lot of back and forth, a lot of that sort of stuff. Maybe a little bit too much of that stuff, but I did enjoy it for the most part. But yeah, I think some of the sections did linger on a little bit too long. There was maybe a little bit too much back and forth. The whistling mechanic that I really liked, I felt was a little bit underutilized and honestly almost pointless because, well, I think my biggest issue with the game is there didn't seem to be much threat, you know? Or if there was, there weren't many stakes. I didn't really end up whistling all that much by the end of the game because I just figured if I was going to run into one of the statues that was going to harm me, I was just going to have to sit through a 10-second cutscene, you know, get battered, then continue on with my day. Big whoop, right? Boo-hoo. If that's all I need to worry about, that's nothing that I need to worry about, you know? If there were proper stakes there, if I had some sort of health that I needed to worry about, if I was going to get crippled, maybe if it was just like four or five hits and that's it, game over, then, you know, then I'd have something to be nervous about, then I'd have something to fear, then I'd be a bit more tentative going into these areas and making sure that I wasn't crossing paths with these guys. And to be honest, I did feel that way at the beginning, and I think probably my favourite section of the game, that one in the middle with the flares and the spiders. The spiders were legitimate threats, or they seemed to be more threatening than the statues. Um, I like losing the flashlight, I like using the flares, we got glimpses of the monsters, they actually did chases from time to time. Yeah, I actually felt like I was under threat, and it felt like there were stakes there, you know? So, yeah, that was probably my favourite section. But yeah, the biggest problem for me is that no threat or, or, or no stakes. I liked the enemies, right, but they didn't turn up enough. That big guy at the beginning, uh, I saw him in the demo section, he chucks you down, to the lower levels, and then two hours later you see him again, what, twice? And then there's no real resolution to that either? There wasn't like a boss fight or anything that satisfying, we're just leaving the ship and that's that? Also, story-wise, uh, on that point, I liked the story, I liked, you know, learning about the fog and what happened to the crew and everything, the disappearance, but, you know, looking at the story as a whole and how I contributed to it, did I really do anything? It felt like my purpose was to go there, find out what happened, and then leave. Because I, I didn't affect anything, really. Maybe it needed something more. So, there are a few little things here and there that I'd probably change to make it better. But overall, I did enjoy this experience. Uh, that was Lazaret. Thanks for watching. 
See ya. No, I'm actually never going to see you again, am I? I love the ship swaying back and forth as well. That's great. I don't have a flashlight. That's not great. Can we move this out of the way? No. No, I'm not paid enough for that. Oh, another body. And something else. Hello. They move. No. Oh, shit. The fuck was that? Right into the darkness. Oh, <laughs> oh one responded. Now he seemed like a pretty big guy. Can he crawl through the vent? Speak of him and he shall appear, apparently. Right. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I guess I wasn't the only one looking. Oh, hurry up. Please hurry up. I don't want to be hooked. The elevator fuse is missing. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's funny and it's also sad at the same time. Another opening. Oh, what the fuck was that? Did you see that? He's installed some unusual door locking mechanisms around the ship. My god, that sounded really close. Alright, we- Oh no, I'm not going in there. <laughs> oh, the security room key. Okay, well maybe- Oh, hello. Here we are then. Oh my god! Okay, the cargo hold is that way. That way looks like cancer. It might be you I can hear. You just moved. It's you. I know it's you. Oh. What the f- Oh, come on! What is that? Another little key? It's another little key! That whoa, the To be honest, yeah, I don't know why I'm whistling, because most of the time I don't like the response. <laughs> if I hear something, it's a bit unsettling. If I don't, it's still unsettling. Storage! Still warp, yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not really sure. And now I've got to drain the water from the lower floor. My god, I've just turned into an engineer at this point, haven't I? So that's going to get me into that control room? Oh, shit! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Right, well, maybe flares down here. Not the best idea. Oh, my fucking god! Whoa, 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 what the f- Oh, I got rid of the flares? What's wrong with this guy? What's his name? John? John, you're an idiot. Find the elevator up to the superstructure. I'd love to. I'd love to. I've just been pissing about fixing things. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I know it's too dark. I know. Why didn't he bring the flares? You are not to be trusted, are you? I just have a bad vibe about you, and that's why. Right, so what, what did I see? Oh. Nope, 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 nope. This way, this way. Another puzzle by the looks of it. Okay, so I can change these valves? Yeah, okay. Nice. Right. Let's see. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ. You guys wait right there, okay? I'm doing my laundry! Oh, God. That's my laundry? Deck A, then, right? To, uh, the... <sighs> Through here. Oh, there he is! So what we got? B here? Yep. Ah, ah, ah! This is not the time, mate. This is not the time. Was that A deck? It's the key to that thing that I need for the PC so I can get the key card! Jesus Christ. Level 3 security credentials, thank you. Uh, I I'll just leave you to it, maybe. Yep. Why is that closed? Hmm. Oh! No! Right, uh, is that another key? Another pad? Oh, 